Hi everybody, this is Bob with another video tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at eighth note triplets and how to create shuffle and swing beats. Now I'm using Logic Pro 10 for this demonstration, but any DAW will work just fine. Now before we get into creating shuffle and swing beats, let's first review some basics of note value and time signature. You can see here that I'm using 4-4 four, four time for this example. That means a quarter note gets one count per beat and there are four beats per measure. So let's just create a region here and then, uh, and then we'll go create those beats in the piano roll. So I'm gonna create one region right here and that's one measure. And now we're gonna go into the piano roll and I have my pencil tool here. And right here on this hi-hat sound, I'm gonna create four quarter notes and they're counted one, two, three, four. So let's listen to that. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna leave my tempo here at 105 beats per minute. Now let's take a look at eighth notes. Compared to quarter notes, there are twice as many eighth notes in a measure. Eighth notes gets two counts per beat and therefore there are eight notes in a measure. Let's create those now by taking, we'll take these quarter notes here and just pull them down to this next track. I already have it labeled eighth notes. And as we can see, we still have our quarter notes in here. We're gonna, um, we're gonna highlight all these and just make a copy of these and place them over here at the halfway point between these two quarter notes. So now you can see that in between each quarter note we have an, an extra note. So we have a total of eight notes in this measure and they're eighth notes and they're counted one and two and three and four and. Let's take a listen. One and two and three and four and. Now, one important aspect of creating grooves is to change the velocity and accent certain notes. And that's gonna also be important as we get into the shuffle and swing beats. So let's try that now by grabbing the velocity tool and let's select, let's select every other note here. So I'm on the and beat, one and, two and, so I'm changing the and of these beats and I'm gonna pull this down to, I don't know, about 60. Let's see how that sounds. So we're gonna accent the first note, one and, two and, and so every other note is gonna be less volume or less velocity. Gives it a little bit more feel. In the interest of time, I'm not gonna create another region with 16th notes. But yeah, you guessed it. Compared to the eighth notes, it, there's twice as many sixteenth notes. Four per beat, and then we have 16 per measure, therefore the sixteenth note. Now for the fun part, the shuffle beat. The shuffle beat is a triplet feel. So let's take a look at the eighth note triplet. As the name implies, there are three notes in each beat, therefore giving us a total of 12 notes. I guess we could call this a 12th note. So I'm going to take this uh, series of eighth notes here and just copy it and pull it down. I already have a, a region here or a track uh, labeled shuffle hi-hat. So I said we wanted three eighth notes to give us a triple feel. So I need to make room in this one measure right here for three eighth notes. So I'm going to slide this. Uh, I don't want to cop. I uh, don't want to highlight that. So I'm going to slide this one over a little bit and then create another one. And now notice I have three eighth notes here, uh, a uh, eighth note triplets. Notice the grid on my screen is a 16th note grid. So that's the resolution. Um, that's the default in Logic. So I'm not going to be able to manually place these triplets where they need to be. So since I can't do that manually, I can kind of guess and kind of evenly space those out. I'm going to be using the quantize feature in Logic to position these notes exactly where they need to be. So I can highlight these three notes here. I'm gonna come over here and select eighth note triplet, hit quantize, and there you see they'll snap to the eighth note triplet. So I can just delete these, highlight these three, and then put this on each beat. So there's three more, there's three more for the third beat, and here's the fourth beat. 
Now you're going to find that most people count triplets like this. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. I just count them as one e n, two e n, three e n, and so forth. So let's hear how the eighth note triplet sounds. So there you have it, the eighth note triplet has a lot more feel than just your straight up eighth notes. Let's compare the two. Here's the eighth note straight up. And here's the triplet. So now let's turn that triplet into a shuffle hi-hat. So I just renamed this triple fill. That's what we already had. And I'm going to pull this down here, make a duplicate of it. I'm going to mute this one. And this is going to be called shuffle hi-hat. So it's the same pattern here. It's our uh, triplet. So what I'm going to do is delete the middle note in each beat. So it's uh, one E and. So all I'm going to leave is the and, the one and the and. So get rid of this one. Get rid of the middle note here, the middle note here, and the middle note here. So now I'm left with two notes per beat. This should sound familiar to you. So I would count this, I would normally count triplets one E and, so now I'm just going to count one and, two and, three and, and so forth. Here we go. One and two and three and four and. So there you have a very basic shuffle beat on the hi-hats. Now let's go down here and let's create a kick and snare track. So I'm just going to take this just to give me something to work with here. And I know what I want is um, my kick drum to be on one and three. So I'm going to take these two notes right here and I'm going to move them down to is that C1. There's my kick. And I'm put a snare on uh, how about two and four. So we'll drag that over to two, drag this one over to four. We can delete that, delete that. And let's go, looks like we need to increase the velocity. So this is going to be a snare here. So there we go. Now let's find a snare. That'll work. So let's see what this sounds like with our shuffled hi-hat. Let me bring this up a little bit. Okay, starting to sound familiar. Now, one of the things we can do is give this a little more interest. Um, you heard right here, just before the, the end of two, before three, we had a shuffle beat. So let's make this an extra kick drum right here and make it match the um, the shuffle beat. So we have to use an eighth note triplet there to quantize that. You'll see this note jump now because I couldn't put it exactly where it needed to go, but it's in that area. So I'm going to hit quantize now. You see it snapped over. Let's hear how that sounds. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere now. I don't know if you noticed or not, but in that last loop, I took the last shuffled hi-hat and moved it up to an open hi-hat just to give it a little more interest. Let's listen to that real quick. Now let's create another section called the ride. We're going to use a ride symbol and we're going to swing that ride symbol. So let's go back to the shuffled hi-hat, make a copy of that. I'm doing that by holding down the option key and just take and drag it on down here and we'll use it in this second measure here. So the first measure is going to be, um, well I'll tell you what, let's just loop and we'll make a copy of this kick and snare over here and we have the ex exact same thing here. Now this hi-hat shuffle, let me name this region by track so we don't get confused. Here's our ride swing and here's what we have. It's exactly what we had in the hi-hats. So let me put these all on the same note. We need to find a ride for this. So let's just move this.
That'll work right there. Keep it on the grid. Let's hear what that sounds like. It's the exact same thing as our hi-hat pattern, but now on a ride cymbal. So give it some interest. We're going we're gonna to remove a couple of notes, and we're going to leave one, two, and three. Take this one out and leave uh, four and. So let's hear how this pattern sounds. Now this is a good place to stop and address the difference between the swing and the shuffle. Now really, we, we created this swing beat down here by just using the same thing, uh, basically the same notes that we had on the hi-hat, and that was a shuffle beat. And we put it down here, now we're calling it a swing. So what is the difference? Well, in general terms, very general terms, the shuffle beat is rigid. It's tied to that eighth note triplet, or the eighth note triplet in this case. And swing beats are more flexible. It, it's up to the interpretation of the player as to how far he wants to move that beat. And what we're doing, well, let me just demonstrate here on this ride cymbal. What I've done is I've accented the... Um, the triplet feel here. So it's two notes in this measure. It's these two red notes or pink notes, however they're showing up on your screen. And the rest of these notes are a straight feel. So um, in, a sw in a swing, we have actual swing quantization over here, and Logic labels them A through F. Now, let me just highlight all these notes. I've moved this up to more of the bell on the ride so you could hear the difference. I'm going to solo this. Um, uh, yeah, let me just mute this, this kick and snare. So just hear this ride cymbal. And like I said, we're on the bell, kind of on the bell of the ride now so you can hear it a little bit better. And if I move this swing to, let's say, A, that's basically no swing. Now you notice that these notes just snapped over to just a regular eighth note. So this is going to be fairly straight up eighth notes here. Let's take a listen. I did accent with volume here so you can hear the note that I'm moving around. So that's pretty, that's pretty well straight up. So let's look what happens when we go to swing B. You see it shifted just slightly off of the grid there and so did this note. So with each graduation, I'm going to go to C now, it's getting closer to that eighth note triplet, which is over in here somewhere. So let's play that. Let's try D. Okay, I kind of like the way D sounds. And just so you know, for your Logic users, E, that is the eighth note triplet feel, or it's a twelfth note. And then F moves it beyond that. So I kind of like the feel of swing D. It has a rushed feel from the twelfth note. So let's put the uh, kick and snare back on, and we'll have a listen to that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this region here the same feel. Uh, we're going to make it the D. There we go. Okay, so what I've done now is I've created several regions here. And I'm going to have two measures of the shuffle hi-hat. Then we're going to do the triplet, fi uh, triplet fill. Now that was just these eight notes that we created earlier. And we just created... Um, uh, the eighth note triplet, and I just took these and put them around some toms, just randomly put them around some toms. And where the snare hit on two and four, I removed the tom tom hit. So, uh, so we have two fills here, and in between those fills, we're going to switch between the shuffle beat and the ride swing. All right, let me loop um, these measures here. And let's bump up the tempo a little bit and see what it sounds like. Let's try that.
Let's take a look at another way you can be creative with this and maybe speed up your workflow. If your DAW has some means for you to create beats or a drum track or a drummer, as Logic does, um, let me just show you Logic's drummer and what you can do with that. I'm going to, uh, right here, going to create a new drummer track. It pulled up Kyle. He's a rock drummer, so he's going to be playing straightaway eighth notes in this case with the way everything is set. And we're going to use the SoCal kit. So I'm going to come over here and create another software instrument and assign it the same SoCal kit that Kyle is using. So I'm going to come over here to the library, drum kit, select SoCal. And now all I have to do is take this region down here, this drummer, pull it, and now my piano roll will pop open. And I can go ahead and edit that as necessary. Let me delete this, uh, this drummer track. And this is what I'm left with. Let's solo this up, see what this sounds like. So you can see my drummer, and you can hear that he's playing straight up, uh, straight up eighth notes here. So we're gonna we're gonna swing a couple of those. So let's go with the uh, the kick. And if I select the note that the kick's on, which is right here, C is that C one? Yeah. So I'm gonna select C one. It selects all of them. And then I'm gonna come over here to eighth notes and swing E. Remember was the um, it pretty much swung it right to the 24th note or the triplet. So you see a couple of those notes moved. And that's what I want. And let's see, let's find this hi-hat. That's it. Select all of those. And we're going to do the same thing. It's already selected. I just hit the Q button. And boom, it shifts them over. Let's see what that sounds like. So that pretty much sounds, let me turn that off and go back to our original track. Has the same feel. It's the same triplet kind of feel, swing feel. So the drummer again. And what we created earlier. So that was... <laughs> That was like 15 seconds it took to pull the drummer in, swing some of those notes, gave it a totally different different feel. And by pulling it open in the piano roll uh, this way, we can be very selective with the notes that we want to swing and get exactly the feel we want. So um, hope that helped. Thanks for watching the video. Please comment and subscribe. And until next time.